Hey guys, Deathmog91 here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with my let's play of Minecraft. Guys, as you guys saw, I'm set on peaceful. Now, if you're thinking, why the hell am I set on peaceful? It's because of what, what I'm gonna do today. So, as you guys can tell, I've got a shit ton of wood. And I mean that literally. So, what we're going to do today. We are going to build a mob trap. This is probably going to be a part one of like two or three. I haven't decided how I want to break this down. Because this is going to take a while. Also, guys, if you can give me 10, thumb, give me like 10 to 20 thumbs up, I will show you the long building process of everything else that you are that I'm probably gonna cut out I'll probably just build the base in this episode which sucks cuz I'm doing this all underwater so have you guys ever just thought it's like man I would love to you know have a mob trap without a spawner essentially that's what we're gonna do today now I already chose a location because it's not too far away from my house and it's in the water now BLH Gamings did a tutorial on this and I basically that's where I got the design from uh, but apparently it came from Edo Sens uh, who is really big in the gaming community at least in Minecraft I've seen for the cr these crazy ass designs that he always comes up with and he's also I know Rooster Teeth uh, uses his maps quite a bit when they do like Halo Reach uh, trials and everything so what we're gonna do is actually this isn't as bad as I thought I was gonna do as you can tell I've got this wooden tower that's where we start so all we're doing is we're just gonna build this up till we're at 22 blocks and we go from there now if you guys are wondering why 22 blocks it's because mobs will die at 24 blocks and 22 leaves them with half a heart and yeah that's the main reason because we want mobs at half a heart now you don't have to do the sides like I do, I'm doing, but I prefer to do it because it just looks better in my opinion. Now if you're wondering why the hell am I doing this in water, which makes it that much harder, it's because the water uh, is really helpful when, let's say hypothetically, I'm at you know high distance and I fall, then I'd be okay. The nice thing is, well, I thought it did that. Guess not. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through and just punch out all these blocks. And oh wait, yeah, I forgot to bring an axe. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Okay, so yeah. Unfortunately, this is something you have to do. You don't have to do this in water. I did because of how I found things. Water was actually really easy to work with after you got the base built. Okay, I better hurry up because I'm going to start drowning. So yeah, I'm just going to get the base built today, which isn't going to take too long, I hope. But I mean, look how high I'm up. Let's see, if I were, I'm going to show you guys, because this was 22 blocks. See, well, actually, if I would have landed in there, that would have been a bit better. But, yeah, if you fall into a one block area of water, you take no damage. But that doesn't mean you can't go down quite far. So, yeah, let's see, today really sucked. I ended up going to work at 8.30 in the morning, which is early for me. I usually don't go in until like 11 noon. But yeah, 
Um, we got four, uh, five new baggers. Uh, there's one girl. I like her and everything, but her work ethic could be better. Uh, we got. I'm not gonna say any names just for liability reasons. Well, not liability reasons. You know, I just won't sit bother saying their names. Uh, but yeah. Uh, then, well, we had, out of the five ba uh, baggers, they were all baggers. I mean, that got hired. There was only one guy. Uh, I think he's gonna do really well. He seems like he's a really nice guy. Like, I have, you know, I have nothing against him already. You know, like, you know within a day or two uh, how you feel. Like, are they going to last or are they not going to last? Okay, so what I was talking about earlier about the 22 block height, I should not die. Oh, shit. I died. That wasn't good. Maybe I went a little too high. Fuck it. I just gotta be able to break it enough where I can get in there. Actually, I'm gonna sleep because it's nighttime. And I don't like to build or do anything during the nighttime. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, so, when I got to work, there was me and this other girl who. Uh, it was just the two of us. It's like. It's okay, it kind of sucks, but, you know, it's early in the morning, so it's not too busy yet, but still kind of sucks. Uh, then, she ended up leaving, and I was the only one there for, like, two hours, which, if you've ever been a bagger, and you're by yourself for, like, two hours, you know how much that really sucks. But, yeah, uh, then, we finally got help as, like, the manager did not want to send any of the new people out on carts. It's like, what the heck? It's like, come on. I just did, you know, a ridiculous amount of carts. And you still want to send me out, even though they have yet to go out today. Like, what the fuck? Now, I didn't tell the manager that to their face because, you know, that's just something I don't say. And the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure that like one of my managers might be might watch these videos, or at least knows about them, because these things do go on my Facebook all the time. But yeah, hey, I'm off the clock, so I can talk, say what I want to say. I'm not saying names for various reasons because it's better not to say any names. Uh, but yeah, so it's like it was just one of those days where it's like really why can't we have the you know so and so do it uh... things did get kinda of better during the day okay this is gonna be a, annoying unless i grab a dirt block or something uh... but yeah i was exhausted when i got home i crashed for like four hours, three hours something like that but you would too after just the day I went through but yeah okay it, but yeah today was just one of those days where it's like really what the fuck but everybody has those days so yeah I, it's not like I'm not worried about it the day's over I'm curious I shouldn't have actually died from that when I jumped down here let me see what did I go 24 yeah I went 24 <laughs> we're gonna do okay so I know to knock off the top two and yeah unfortunately I'm wasting time just doing this but whatever it's not that big of a deal but yeah so besides that the day was pretty good um, I ended up going out to the swamp me yesterday which I haven't been out there in a while I bought a GameCube which I have which I need an AV cable for it and it's for after that it's for sale 
uh, I bought three Sega Genesis mo game, uh, models. Now, if you're thinking, why the hell did you buy three? I spent eight bucks on the three. That's why. For eight bucks, I would not have been. Bi I wouldn't have been complaining. Now, actually, what I should have done here was I should have just built the base and then gone off and uh, worry about digging down later. But whatever. So one of the Genesis consoles does not work. The other two I have no way of testing at this moment because of uh, I don't have the power supply. None of the consoles came with the wires, which sucks. But yeah, uh, let me see. Okay, problem fixed. Yeah, a little trick I picked up. Okay. So, this is just going to, we're going to get the basic outline of this thing built today. But yeah. Uh, I mean, hell, for not even uh, $3 a con, I spent 12 bucks on all four consoles. Not even $3 a console. I can't complain. I would, I was like, god damn. The nice thing is, I think every console except for the Genesis, I have spare, actually just the GameCube, I know I have spare controllers for. So let's see. Now, yeah. This is, this design is actually really simple, but it takes time to build. So let me see. Okay, uh, so let's see. I did pick up a few games. I got Musashi for the PS1. I have yet to even pop that in. I actually really want to play it, but I have yet. I just didn't pop it in yet because I just haven't had the chance. So that's four. Uh, let's see. I got Wild Arms Four. I'm a big Wild Arms fan. If you guys have never played it, I still really recommend that you pick it up. Uh, but yeah, Wild Arms is an amazing game. It's one of those games that, even though it's an older game, it's still a lot of fun. It's like everybody could sit down and play classic Mario and not worry about it. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Whatever. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is the basics of how this is going to go. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I also really recommend that you have a couple buckets full of water before you do this. Just that way you've got a ch oh, besides, you've got a chance basically of, oh, uh, well, you'll have the water source already built. So, yeah. Damn it. You always seem to misplace a block in these, and I don't know why. Uh, God damn it! You could do this out of wood. I'm doing this one out of wood. The first, I actually already built this. So yeah. Uh, if you're wondering why did I already build it? Shit. Just cause I had time and I actually wanted to build it to check. Does this work? Is it worth spending probably like six hours building this? Because we're going up to sky level. But yeah. It's one of those days. Uh, so yeah. Then I picked up. 
let's see, Final Fantasy, uh, Chocobo Tales on the DS. I got a free DS the other day because my grandma had given my mom one, and I basically I just asked her, hey, uh, given her two, I had asked her, hey, can I have one? It's like, sure. Not that big of a deal. But yeah. Uh, yeah, things are going pretty well. I cannot wait to leave for PAX. I've got a three-week vacation coming up. I'm hoping to have a couple videos pre, uh, well, just ready to upload before I head out. Oops, I miss. I built this one, one, two over. But yeah, it happens. Uh, so yeah. Let's. I work base. I'm working like every day this week, which always sucks. But what can you do? It's life. Okay. God, it's already nighttime. So what's gonna end up hap? Actually, can I craft that? Not a pressure plate. I can't craft it. But what I'm gonna do is. Oops. You're gonna need slabs and a lot of them. Okay, so basically what happens is the slabs, the mobs, it's gonna be a, where the mobs can jump, only can't jump, and yeah, you guys will see it at the end. They basically just can't jump, so it's like, okay, you're set to go there. This is this design, like I said, it's really helpful if you have somebody else with you. But uh, to build this, because this is gonna, this does take quite a bit of time. So you want to make sure you have at least a. Uh, you want a bit. Uh, I don't know. They actually did a pretty good dis way of describing it, but they didn't show you how. I mean, they showed you, but they could have shown you a bit better. On how to build this, I'm open to do that. So, basically, we're going to do a six, uh, a four-way thing of this. But right here, you don't worry about you don't fill in the corners. Yeah, it's weird. So yeah, I'm in hell. Uh, I think I'm going to record some... Oh, wait. I just realized my PS3... And I forgot that I had settings... Set down to, like... Zero, because... When the mob trap's going, it gets loud. And I forgot that the PS3 was still plugged in... For the audio uh yeah cuz like just cuz how things are going let's see the last thing i actually recorded was probably i think it was the final fantasy 9 stuff and wait no i did actually record this i ended up being like half an hour which yeah as you guys know i like i usually end up doing like half an hour sh uh videos cuz just cuz that's how i am so yeah, well, we're almost done with the base already. Now, I'm going to end up stopping at, after we're done with the base, and I get an extra outline built, because you do need an outline. Just because it's going to be a long, it's going to be, it's going to take some time. If you guys want to see what all went into building this, I can make a video of that. I just need to get like 10 I just want 10 likes for a video for that and yeah trust me make sure you bring a ton of materials cuz I actually built the first one out of cobblestone and 
god did I use a shit ton of cobblestone. So yeah, uh, also we're going to sky. The sky level. So yeah, not much I can do. Uh, yeah, if any of you guys are going to be in Seattle or at PAX, definitely stop by, say hi. I'm probably going to be at the YouTube meetup, uh, assuming it's one of the days I'm actually there. Well, I'll be in Seattle for 10 days, so if you guys live in Seattle uh, and you see me randomly, go ahead, stop by, say hi. You know, unless I'm really doing something for the most part, I don't mind. We can stop, we can talk, you know. I'm not saying go buy me, you know, $100 worth of shit <laughs> or something stupid like that. I'm just saying if you guys want to meet me, go ahead. I'll be at PAX. I'm not, I probably won't be putting anything up on Twitter, even though I have a Twitter account. Actually, I probably will be. I don't know if I will, will or I won't be. I've just got to see how things go. But yeah, uh, I can't wait. I hope they change it for next year. Where you can only buy one ticket for... Uh, well, not per day necessarily, but one ticket in total. Because the scalpers are really fucking bad this year because last year every year uh well last few years pax has been selling out it's like congrats for you guys that do pax uh this is my first uh pax i'm going to and yeah i'm really looking forward to it so honestly oh wait let me see Oops, okay, so I don't need those two. Let me see. I might have built that one out. Actually, wait. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Basically, we've already got the outline, but... Oh, wait, I know I should have done. This is just going to be for... Uh, shits and giggles and actually this will make it easier let's say if I fall or something I've got a uh, outline to walk back on while I'm building this shit so yeah if you you know how it goes huh I'm already at 22 minutes that's pretty good so I this will probably this will definitely be a, uh, at least a two-parter maybe a three depending on how things go I really do recommend building, if you're doing this in how I'm doing it with uh, the air, I really do recommend that you build a uh, extra, just a walkway on this, because it will make this a whole lot fucking easier. Now also, once this thing, once this mob trap set up, I will get, I'll be able to get some music discs, which normally you can only find them in, uh and the spawners tre uh, treasure chest but there's another way I didn't know about it BLH Gaming's uh, ended up putting a video on that and it works I can bear I can tell you it works I'll once this is once this is complete I can actually show you and also this is a really good way of getting pretty high on the leaderboards So yeah, I mean, okay, when I, before I had started this, uh, whoops, okay, kills, I was probably right where, uh, Cody Lloyd is right there, except maybe not with the, well, except without the pig zombies where it's like, I was ranked like 3,000, 300, some thousand, 400, some thousand, something like that, I'm ranked in the top 2,500 because of this and that's on hard this trap does work it's really effective but yeah it just takes time to build so if you're gonna build it make sure you have a lot of time now 
the only way to know if the mob trap works is that is to test it and we will be doing that but yeah I can I'll actually go through and show you guys the water flow of it Cause I think I actually went one too far over there, but whatever. <sighs> it's not like wood's not that easy to come by. I mean, let me see. Yeah, I think I can't. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough wood. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Seattle. I can't wait to come go over there. Um, if you, like I said, if you guys live there. I plan on trying to go to the pink gorilla which it, for what I've been told it's an import shop for video games and whatnot and honestly I wish we had something like that down here in Tucson but yeah um, then there's AJ's I heard that they're pretty good uh, also, I was watching one of the Game Chasers videos. If you guys haven't seen the Game Chasers, just search them on YouTube. Okay, yeah, I did go one. Actually, wait. Let me check. This is uh, this is the only way to know how if you did it. Okay, so yeah, what happening was. I did go one block out too far, but that actually works out because I have another use for this. I'm going to go ahead and extend this part out a bit. Now, if you're wondering why, well, I did say, and it's like, let's go ahead and just build it real quick. Infinite water source. Even though there's a ton of water down there, it's still one of those things that's like, it's a nuisance to have to keep going back and forth down there to get water. But yeah, uh, I actually ended up expanding the slime farm. I have yet to check it out, but yeah, it's all good. Now, what I found to be really, actually, damn it, uh, helpful was when I was building it, I ended up using uh, different blocks. So, like, right here, the water pass, I would be using um, netherrack, oops, instead of uh, just using wood or stone. But yeah, once this go gets going, we're pretty good. So I'm glad I left this one open just because it makes things easier. Now, if I wanted to, I could put a water source on every level, but I'm not going to. So make sure that you block the center block off with something. But yeah, uh, that's just so I can get out and go up. So what's going to happen is the water is just going to run like that. And yeah, okay. Now I already know I built this correctly because that's just what I do. Uh, so what happens is what's there's going to be a layer above me where basically I can't jump. And then this middle block right here is to prevent uh, spiders. Because spiders, I think, need a four block radius to move, or it's a two, something like that. But yeah, so what's going to happen is the mobs are just going to keep getting pushed and pushed until they reach the middle. Then they go through and they'll fall down. Now we're going to have it set up where you can basically uh, uh, not need to worry about, like, you can rack up kills or you can do whatever you have to do but yeah 
like I said, this trap is, it's relatively easy to build. It's just time consuming because you are going up to sky level. Which, if you haven't seen how high sky level is. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I guess I didn't need to do that. Sky level, it's going to take a while. Oh, one thing I do recommend. Put a block over where the water is. Just that way the random mob can't spawn in there. And also, you don't have to worry about destroying uh, the spot that you are at. Because, I mean, let's say you accidentally put a water block there. Oh, a block there, and then you put... Oh, you put the water source right there. Then you put a block over it. It's like, oops. Don't worry if you misplace a block like that. But yeah. I mean, how, like I said, this is basically how it's set up. Now, the crafting table, I'm probably just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy it. Not like I can't make another one. But yeah, so what happens is this. Okay, I might have to go down one, I think. Because it looks like I only had, I should have had, well, let me go ahead and check. I should have actually double checked uh, how far down I was. But yeah, this works. Well, that's 23 blocks, okay. So actually, yeah, I was 22. Actually, no, 23 is fine, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... I know what I'm going to do. I've just got to do it. Because you... Uh, what you want to do is you want to put a, a water block d up at the top. Just so that way you can go through and not have to worry about it. So I'm going to get some water right now from out here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, trust me. You're going to want to make sure you build a way up. Like a legitimate way up. So I'm going to end up building this right here which should just get me up to the top and then I could just build over so I'm gonna have to build some oops huh <laughs> maybe not well this sucks because I was hoping that wasn't the case, but unfortunately it was. Yeah, don't worry. I guess the wood and all, I can just re-get. I can get more wood easily. Not like there's, there's a shortage of that. Okay, let me go ahead and just push the crafting bench down. Okay, because we're going to need a ton of ladders. Actually, I think that's enough to get up here. Worst scenario, I'll have to use some... Uh, I'll just have to use what I got. But yeah. Trust me, it's like this shit's gonna be. It sucks, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I made more ladders. Uh, personally, what I like to do is. I like to go through and just put an uh, extra ladder there. Because just for some reason, I can't explain this. It's just how the water. 
how the blocks physics were set up. Oh wait, I'll go ahead and grab you. How the block and you. The block physic was set up. Well, if there's anything else, like, oh yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. This is why I did this on uh, peaceful because I knew I was gonna take some damage regardless because of random shit like that. But yeah. Well, I think I got the basics down. Oh yeah. This is what I ended up doing last time was I just built a ladder over it so that way I can get through. But yeah. Okay, so now here's the fun thing. Doing a second layer. Now, actually I don't have a way to mark off where I'm at for the water source, so I just have to figure it out as I'm going. But that's life. So yeah, uh before I get too far, just destroy that block. Because you don't want to leave it where there's a chance. I mean, they can't spawn through that block, but it just helps improve the mob spawn spawning ratio. Now, I think I'm going to cut through after I get the basics of this next level done. And go through and show you guys what the finished product looks like. Which is pretty, which, it's impressive how big it actually is. God damn it. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, trust me, that's, that always sucks. But unfortunately, that's what's gonna keep happening. But this is just, it's going to take a lot of wood. I don't know how much, you know. But yeah, this will set me up trap. Fuck. I hate doing that. This will set me up trap wise, uh, where I don't have to worry about building another mob trap for a long, long time. The only thing that this doesn't take care of is spiders. And. Spiders really have only one good thing going for them. That's the str uh, string to make into wool. Now, if I can get a w enough wool together and I can get the dye started going, I might make a 8-bit figure somewhere in this world. Now, what I was thinking about doing, I want guys comment down below. I want to know your thoughts on this. Okay, I was thinking about making this world. For download, not today, of course, but in the future, because I can actually do that. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is put uh, anybody who wants to find it, putting like a little sign randomly through this world, and to make things a bit better, it's it might be in the Nether, but. It, it's not going to be like underground and some really random ass tunnel. I won't do that for the f first few. I might do that after a while. Like, hey, you know, like I'll have a video link. It's like, hey guys, congrats on finding this, uh, finding this flat, uh, this like what sign. Fuck. Okay, fuck it. I shouldn't, oh, what the, whatever. I'm gonna have to fix this, because I shouldn't have died, but I still did. I think it was because I had it set up. I, you know, it's weird. Sometimes you'll still die, even if you're good. That's one of those things I know about. But, yeah. Well, God, we're already at 40 minutes. Okay, when don't I put up, like, a 40-minute Minecraft video? But, yeah. So, later on, I'm going to probably make this world for download. Comment down below. Do you guys like that idea or not? Uh, but, yeah. So. 
what I did, uh, I put this on cloud uh, savings just because if something happens, I want to make sure I have a. I'm actually using my backup copy right now. But yeah. That's just because I was. I had it set to this first. Uh, just because. It's not like it's that big of a deal. So yeah. Well, I gotta make sure to at least get all my resources because I don't want to save. That's like, I forget about it. It's like, oh yeah, shit. What happened to all that wood? Great, now I gotta go mar uh, farm it again. <laughs> but yeah, that's life. So yeah. Well guys, I'm wondering who all has actually been playing Minecraft. Who bought this game because I'm doing a let's play. If anybody actually bought this game because I'm doing a let's play of it and they're playing through it, comment down below and whatnot. I would I would like to see that. You know, that's just my personal thing. Like I would love to see like yeah, I bought the game because you've been doing a let's play of it. That'd be that'd be badass in my opinion. If anybody actually did that. Uh but yeah. God damn. Finally, that first block goes. Okay, now let me get up. That took a little too long, I think. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I hate. That's the one thing I hate about uh, water. It takes forever. I want to start taking damage right here. Okay, now ladders can actually be, oh yeah, ladders can be, can be used to stop the water, but we're going to use a sign because of, uh, well, one, the major reason why we're going to use a sign instead of a ladder. Mobs later on can uh, climb up ladders. Like, don't ask me how. I can't explain it. But yeah. Well, let's go ahead and go up to the top and try to finish up this section. And, well, finish up the top half and we go from there. Yeah, this is why it's best to build that out of wood because, you yeah, know, something happens. Wood is really easy to get. And, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I died. But, yeah, uh... I think my next video is going to be part two of me just talking and building this whole thing. Okay, wow. This is why I went through and I grabbed a shit ton of wood because I figured something like this would happen. And I figure I'm going to have to go grab more wood still. I don't doubt that. Uh, but yeah, it's life. And life can suck. But yeah. Uh, well, if you're wondering uh, how this mob trap's gonna end. Oh yeah, shit. Uh, make sure opened. Okay. Sorry, dude. I'm not gonna join your party. Got notifications were on, but yeah, uh, it's all good. I'll t I'll talk to him a little, a little bit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, basically that's how it goes. Uh, I'm only gonna do one last thing, then we'll sh uh, whoops, we'll switch over. But yeah, um, well, guys, like. Like I said, it, this mob trap's relatively... It's easy to build. It's just time-consuming. I don't know why the hell there's a... That always happened to me that there was like a ladder like misplaced for no reason. But yeah, it's life. Uh, make sure that when you're doing this, though, 
that you at least go up too high before you start putting all the wires in because it might you might get confused. I don't know why, but I'll, I know I did. I actually, I think the first time building this, I had to destroy it like three different times. Because I'm like, how the fuck did they do all that? But yeah, okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and save it here. I'm going to show you guys the completed version and what the hell I had done. Because I actually went through, I did a really crazy setup to show you guys how the hell you do this. And it was a bitch to build one fucking thing out of this thing. Okay. I know I just saved. I always don't. I always like to double save. Just that way, if something happens, I'm good to go. But yeah. Uh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I was playing on my cloud storage save play uh, New World. I don't care if anybody joins this world. That's all good. But yeah. Oh. There's... W okay. Oh yeah, I was working on something else. I just gotta make a T-flip-flop. What I was gonna do, I was gonna make like a small little uh, zombie fortress. Uh, fortress. Ah. Portrait. Ah. Portrait. Ugh, I can't see it. Zombie fort. <laughs> Just for the fun of for the fun of it. Also, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna sleep because things look better during the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like I don't. I know I don't post up. You know, like I'll post up like three or four videos in a day, but then I won't post up anything for a few days. But everything's like at least an hour long, like at least 15, 20 minutes long. Minecraft, I do at least an almost an. 40 minutes to an hour an episode. So, okay. That's what it looks like when it's finished. So, yeah. Let's go ahead, oh, go ahead and go over to uh, the setup. Now, obviously, I could have taken my minecart over there, but I forgot about that. And whatever, it's not that far from where I'm at. Tell you the truth, the world that I uh, spawned for my let's play, I really fucking like it. Like, it's a good world. Now, yeah, if you guys haven't, uh, well, the seed's always up at the beginning. It's not, a, well, usually you can see it at the beginning. Yeah, that's what I built. And this motherfucker was a bitch to build. That's all I gotta say. If you're wondering why this was a bitch to build. Yeah, you try building this like it. This is not fucking easy to build sideways. I'm trying to give you guys an aerial view. Okay, the lapis lazul blocks are the water. Cobblestone is cobblestone. The wood's the wood. The gold blocks are the... God damn it, what was it? The wooden planks. Netherrack, just center. I even went through. I was like, okay, this is the simple shape. That's how that happens. And to prove that this thing works, where you could fall like, you know, 22 blocks and not take any damage, I, I'm gonna do it right here. Don't ask me how. And that's only one sort water block. Now, here's where the pistons come into. You're going to need two uh, sticky pistons. So, I might not be able to finish the mob trap anytime soon. Because I still have yet to find any slimes. So, this first lever. All it does is just pushes the... Well, it will kill the mobs. Because there's supposed to be a block right there. And it will push the loot out. Now, this other lever right here. Is set up to repeat. And it's just going to keep... It's an auto kill. And that will actually kill you. Okay. Now, this is basically the design. The one thing you have to make sure that you do. Don't do. Do not connect this piece of redstone to the wiring. It will fuck you up. You will be there for a while. 
Trust me, I did. I learned that the hard way. I probably spent 15 minutes trying to figure out why the fuck isn't this working. But yeah, then you can have that put somewhere else. Just got the redstone. If it's 15 blocks or more, make sure you use a repeater. But yeah, uh, then this is the basic outline again. I could have just shown you guys all this, but I showed you how to build it. Then we got another basic outline of this again I uh, yeah I used iron blocks for the waterway but yeah so that's kind of how that goes uh okay I forgot thank god I got that there infinite source of water even though I got water right there it's always nice to have one okay now I'm not obviously well, I'm not gonna save this world because I'm gonna go out exit and go to uh, hard mode actually I will I might save I might not so that way I can show you guys that this thing actually works so I had shown you guys like a glimpse of how big this motherfucker is but yeah uh, god damn we're at 50 minutes well this works my computer starting to lag that's not a good thing. Hopefully this video gets finished. And yeah. Unfortunately, I did put those two pretty far apart. I had planned on just doing it where I cut uh, start it, cut it. But it's like, it's not that bad of a walk. And yeah. Now, if you're thinking this is big, this is only about half... This is only about half the size it could be. If I would have taken the time to dig down to bedrock and do it that way, that is where it would be fucking insane. I could have done that, but this is big enough already. So yeah, uh, this actually, you can die from this. So... I know, I know it's possible. I did a few suicide runs on this just to see it. Is it possible? But yeah. Oh yeah, I just did that because it ended up making things easier. Okay, so infinite source of water. <laughs> Crafting bench. Workbench, whatever you want to call it. God knows you need one. And... Like I said, this pretty much wiped out all my cobblestone. Now, I had a ton of cobblestone left over after building that. And the uh, pathway. <laughs> now, if somebody says I didn't use the duplication glitch, they'd be lying. I did. Okay, there's the center block. It goes down, and... See, now I'm left with half heart. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is I'm digging my way out. Um, I end up going through. The redstone is basically the same. The one thing BLH Gaming did not do that I found that needed to get done for the most part was putting obsidian instead of wood down here because I had I had this happen to me a couple times where creeper would blow up all the circuitry it's like fuck but yeah actually I'm gonna go ahead and just save where I'm at now okay I did shit but this is gonna work now it's gonna take a couple minutes to kick in because mobs have to spawn and yeah <laughs> Yep, the Minecraft uh, 360 edition did break a lot of records. And yeah. Now, God, this video is going to be an hour long. I don't doubt that. I'm not going to build the rest of this. If I'm going to, uh, if I'm going to record, record me building the rest of the tower, it's going to be set up on, um, what is it? It's going to be set up on multiple videos of like half an hour to 45 minutes of doing the same thing. Okay, so what happens is you can actually put that down. It helps the mobs. They're not going to die. 
So this was probably like 20 minutes of loot. Yep, gunpowder, arrows, music discs. This is actually, this is, I mean, this is more music discs than you would ever find in a normal game without doing this. Feathers, other shit. It's like, I got a, a stack of 64 diamond block. Okay. I wonder if has anything. Yep. Two creepers. So what I can do is, for the most part, if the thing if the thing wasn't on top, they die in one hit. But yeah, that's basically how it goes. Uh, these things can build up. You get creepers, zombies, and sp uh, not spiders. Ah, uh, skeletons spawning down here. Now, what happens is, to get a record, you have to have a creeper get killed by a skeleton. Which normally just does not happen. But yeah, there's a skeleton. So, the skeleton senses me. Start. Oh, wait. To do that, just let it build up in a couple minutes. Now, after, like, three minutes, these things start getting full. Uh, once the mobs start spawning, I wish I could see all the mobs spawning, like, I would not build that out of glass. Actually? No, that wouldn't work because the sunlight, there'd be light in there, and you have to have it pretty much pitch black to go off. I don't know, like, sometimes it gives you a lot of mobs, sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, if this one's down, this one won't turn on. But yeah, uh, unfortunately it takes, like I said, it takes a couple minutes to start really building up. In about an hour you can get up to, like, within an hour for sure you'll be up within the top 2500. If you build this. So yeah. Uh, what I should have done actually was just complete this with pure obsidian, but that would have taken forever to mine, and, well, th these guys are not coming down like they normally do. They can actually hit you, so don't be that surprised if you're standing too close. Now... Yeah, this is weird. This is really low. But, but what can you do? Let me go check the top. Because, like... Yeah, I did plug that thing back. Did I? Because that might be why. Whatever. It's just good to... Uh, don't go too far away because... They actually can still despawn. Some, that's just something you don't want. And of course, I step in fire. Yeah, uh, I also go around the pretty surrounding area and light it up. Don't you don't have to worry about lighting up this whole area up top because there's nowhere for them to spawn except the very top. So you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, God, how many videos have I done? that were like an hour long of just one game without breaking it up. So yeah, uh, let me check, did I, okay. I did not. So yeah. Whew, I love doing that. It might take a minute or two for me to go through and uh, get up there, but yeah. <laughs> well, let's check where they're at, spawn-wise. Okay. See, just in the time I went through and I, uh, had, well, I'd gone through and I had plugged the top, this is what happened. 
Okay. It's not a ton, but it's good enough. To, it's a good start. That's just how it is. Okay, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace. Oh, if you're still watching this video at the end, uh, just put... I want you guys to put something crazy. Uh, put, oh my god, eight gen uh, three Genesis for $8. What the fuck? Just do that. Anybody who's watching that video, uh, this video, do that. I want to see how many of you guys will comment down below of that. Okay, guys. Peace.